pop up on stream in 50 seconds. Oh, are you streaming now? Yeah, I will now be streaming. Okay. I... What's with the cage? Who put the cage in? <laughs> it's, a, it's a subtle addition. <laughs> cage match? Just put bed that. Just put bed that and beyond in here. Yeah, that's what. It, that's oh, the song. No. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. Uh, rap is on the wrong podium. <laughs> 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 I've hit him off so many times. Yeah, yeah. We're getting some of the guys back. Just for okay. anyone who is joining us now, that was our second and third place match that we just played to decide who gets second and third place. Uh, because the team was disqualified, Aftershock is going to be first, but we are going to have a show match after this with what would have been the final. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond uh, versus Aftershock. Slightly altered. Pretty exciting. Yeah, we've got a couple stand ins for Bed Bath Beyond, right? Yeah, Vath has the blue screen of death, so we're putting uh, Honest Forever in. Blue nice. screen of death? What is that? Yeah. You know when your computer That's crashes and it's the blue good. screen? Like the whole computer. <laughs> yeah, so when Something you get the blue screen of death, your myself. computer's basically dead until yeah. you fix it. Sometimes it'll yeah. just be a crash and you can start up again, sometimes it's like... It's a virus. It's something that I, a Mac user, wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, the PC versus Mac trash top. It's right, we know it's superior. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, dude, mine is not great. <laughs> the, the, uh... Sorry. All right, our podiums are set. Yeah, the blue screen of death does not sound good. That's bad, bad. Yeah, sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's just something kind of froze up and you can restart and it's fine. Sometimes it's like, well, I guess it's safe mode. Yeah, I, I, I think I've had that one time. Something similar to it anyway. So I remember Googling it, blue screen of death, blue screen of death. <laughs> I don't even remember how I got out of it now. The good old B-Sod. Yeah, I'm heading... Heading now to the tor my tournament team Discord. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so I'll see you in the game and good luck on streaming. Cool. Okay. Have a good game. Okay, okay, I guess we're not going to do a podium. <laughs> we'll pose people, it's fine. We'll pose. Take a screenshot of it and then we can pose them. Okay. Go ahead and get on the podium. <laughs> screenshot. Then paste others in later. Denny is CB. Raf is. Is Raf an officer? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just a winner. <laughs> I mean, he ain't Charlie Sheen. Winning. Because I'm winning. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dar's coming in. <laughs> After I leave, there he goes. It's like after I leave spectate, sometimes there's like a pause before I actually appear.
So yeah, we're just getting set up for this, right? And then we will be playing shortly. A fun show match between Bed Back and Beyond slash stand-ins and Aftershock are tournament winners. TNT changed his skin to Rocky skin, god damn it. Yeah, it's alright. It's all gone. It's all gone should always be an up. Oscar's just de opt himself. <laughs> what a humble guy. Just joining us, we had our last official match of the tournament earlier today. Aftershock did win the tournament, then Carrot Brotherhood came second, and uh, Rainbow Bunchies came third. Uh, we're going to be having a show match between Aftershock and Bedrock and Beyond with substitutes coming up shortly. And in the meantime, screenshots. Apparently, Superham put in a super donut spell. Yes. Oh my. What is the. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright. Out of the way, man. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna back up. I need to I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put particles around here. I gotta get back in the spectate so I can fly here. Alright, here we go. Um, <laughs> Are we giving them their shiny helmets now? I want to see them. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think I can do that. Sword on the spot. Like a solid egg. No, it's not. Zorgon is clearly very bored. <laughs> I think he's got a buff on his line of sight. I know, it's like a real life picture. He has to go. People jump in play. People. Oh, so you guys only see my passports, don't you? Yep. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me see. I'm trying to remember what the. Hold on, I know what the command is, so. Me, the information. MCB dot winner is the. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's why I was gonna go first. So player, let's see who doesn't have one. Mining shark, and it's what MCB dot winner. Ah, okay, hold on. I did something wrong. So how are we going getting this show match set up? Oh yeah, I got you set. Music too loud. I'll turn the music down a bit. Give him the shiny. Uh, Oscar oh. gave one for it to himself. <laughs> oh, arms here. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Who doesn't have one then? We should give shiny boots to second time winners. Yeah, we thought about doing stuff like that. Like, they're different. Got a 
objectives, like winning this kind of thing, <clears throat> that kind of thing. Uh, who else? Mr. Koo, not Oscus, Mining Shark, Chip, I got them. Dar. Yeah, yeah, Dar, uh, Jiffa Jaffa, Ninja Curly Fry, Master OG, Caro SKJ. Did Caro even play? <laughs> nope, nope. Caro. This show match on the road. Mm -hmm. Dang, they're all shiny. <clears throat> Wait, Zorgon, can you whitelist? I can't do anything else. Um, Dom needs to be whitelisted on this IGN. Someone tell Honest Forever to join. Oh my god. He just joined. No, oh, he did? Okay. Yeah. Forever and X Woe into Team One. I'm not Dom. Like, I don't... Oh, you're not? Wait, then how'd you get yeah. in here? I'm so white. Could one of you guys? You mean in Discord? Discord. In Discord, in Discord yeah. Oh, I'm Discord mod, so I should be able to join. Okay, so move X Woe, Dom, Honest Forever into Team One under uh, MC Ball events. Discord? Yeah. Okay. And also move Axe again to it too. What about Shy Raider? Is Shy Raider on the team? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Just put on honest forever. See also on the team? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay he's playing standing for today. Okay. Should I remove Axie? Yeah. Hey. Right. Here with the boot. To their Discord, or are we gonna? So, how are we gonna do this? I think Shy's in the uh, Okay, now she's. I think no, Shy's here. Okay. Yeah, I just oh. saw her. She joined. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm heading out. So, everybody have fun and uh, yeah, don't burn the place down. Alright, <laughs> see you about. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm gonna blame Orm if it's burned down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have perms to fix this stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm just joking. Alright, later guys. See ya. See ya. Cool, so... We are now going into Castle Wars, I believe. Yeah, Let's I already set the map. Are the teams set yet? No, I uh, make my team red and then blue. It doesn't really matter, but... So... My team red. Here, I'll do my team and you do uh, Aftershock, okay? Okay. Uh, off shops blue, right? Yes. Okay, my team is set. I'll be just a moment. This is set as well. Let me just adjust our stream. Are you still streaming? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna switch discords. I'm gonna go to the team once the Sweet. game starts. Here we go. Castle Wars versus Aftershock and Bed, Vap and Beyond. This is a show match for the end of our Wonderful 10th tournament. Aftershock are our tournament winners, and we shall see how they can do against the previously undefeated Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and Beyond do have a stand in on us forever, so we'll see if that also has an effect. Already we see Bed Bath and Beyond rushing up through mid. Do we have an AFK? Looks like Money Shark yeah. wasn't quite ready to start that game. I feel like someone's red round, he's flying. Yeah, okay, now it's good. Bed, Vaf, and Beyond almost managing to escape with the flag there, but some blue spawns from Aftershock able to get there just in time to stop the flag. Once again, we have Red Team pushing in, picking up the flag, but getting killed on the way out. Looks like a bit of mayhem to start the game, but looks like it's going to calm Definitely down and both mayhem. teams moving towards mid. So are we doing a one match or three or five? It's a best of five. Best of five. Okay. Sort of like if we're doing a final, but just for the fun of it. Because that yeah. is ultimately what we're all here for, just having a bit of fun. Once again, looks like we have Aftershock pushing up into the middle area. Now, I believe this was their map pick. 
and they look like they have some pretty good control of the left side of mid. Moving one player to try and get in, one player goes down towards the middle side, and now it's all on Oscus, trying to get the kills, but does not manage to capitalize on anything at all. A blue player, Aftershock, still remaining in middle, but maybe not able to hold on long after Bed and Beyond managed to push back out. Both teams seem to be focusing one side of the map at a time at the moment. Might be an interesting counter to this control of mid strategy that a lot of teams go for where they spread out a lot. Now Bed, Vap and Beyond, control of left side and middle, fighting, but they're sort of all over the place. Blues no between them and each other. Up the top now. Bed Faf and Beyond is control of middle. Uh, one blue or one aftershock sneaking him, but he's he's been caught. Probably won't survive. Although he is in red base now. I now got red taken pushing up. into the blue base. They have two players in the base. The respawns come in and they do get taken down. Instantly all taken down. That could have been big. But they are following it up with a push through mid, and they have a player in the base again. All five of Aftershock are in the base, though. When red's still left, he manages to take two down, has the flag. He's going out the wrong way, though. There's people there. His Although teammates he's, coming he's up from mid to support him. They do take he's one down, and right he's switched to the right side. It's completely open. His support he is has been there. Spotted. He has not been spotted. He's just able to walk out. And his team is keeping the middle relatively safe, although they're doing a pretty bad job of that now, but okay, he did make it. And that is the first cap going to Bed Bath and Beyond. This looks like we may get more caps than a lot of the other games. Many games become kind of a stalemate with both teams taking mid, but these teams seem willing to take risks and it's working out for them. Flag taken. Once again. Was it right, Ronnie, who captured last? Uh, uh, no, it was Dom. Uh, abominable Dom. abdominal okay. muscles. Abominable muscles? Abdominal muscles. Ab One of the two. Abdominal. <laughs> Is that Dom? Abdominal. Yeah, that's Dom. Okay. Maybe it's a pun on abdominal <laughs> muscles. Yes. I right, read now in blue base again. Two players versus one. All of blue is kind of spread over the map. One just respawned. And that's almost necessary. Looks like blue struggling to maintain much control here. Yeah, blue seems to be a little bit uncoordinated. Or they're just losing all their her 1v1s. I believe this is not their uh, main team, is it? I mean, they've got some it of their is. key players. Mining Shark and Oscus putting up huge numbers. Yeah. Mr. Koo also been putting up huge numbers in previous matches. They might actually be their main team. So at least some of their core players are here. And I think this yeah. is the first five on the list. Bed and Beyond playing with a stand-in. Yeah, but they didn't seem to be doing better on the on most fronts. Yeah. But now aftershock seems to be taking control more. Mining shark with a nice double kill over there. And now aftershock seems to have a bit of an advantage in mid. If they win this duel, but no, not quite. Jiffa Jaffa, mining shark, both now down. One player trying to fight his way. Mr. Koo trying to survive in mid, but he does not. Only one blue remaining in mid. Will he be able to do anything about it? It's Oscus. He has made some crazy plays before, missing all his shots. Looks like Honest Forever has now realized he's there and turns around and takes him down. Actually, the flank from Dom taking him down. Now Dom trying to get in the middle of the base, but does not make it. Traded one They now for have one. mid control, and they seem to be pushing into the base. One of them already has. Two are now in the base. Although all of blue is there too, and one has already been taken out. Yeah, all five blue players were there to defend. One player, X was still in the base. They just escaped. Although one other red player, okay, they got taken now. 
Red has regrouped. They still have very good control mid. Yeah, none of blue jumped out of their base. They all stayed in. So red never really lost their control. Red now knocking on the door of blue base again. They seem willing to just throw players into it and try, and that's worked out for them before. Will they be able to do it again? They wipe blue from middle, except for one player. Now Oscar's pushing back out, but he's missed the player that got inside. There's the one defender that thinks he knows he's there, but he goes out of the base as well. Nice. There's Pop one the player in here and only one blue to defend. Now they're fighting on the roof. Jiffy Jaffa switching back to the bottom. Flanks from both sides of Oscar. Sorry, x -Wire. Flag very in the middle of both teams right now. Exo are pausing for a fight there. Very Maybe nice the right call take because out. takes down a player and is Let's getting back to the side. flag. Last chance One for them to get on the left side pushing in. Looks like she will have it. Nope. Enemy team scored. But now with that, blue has taken control of mid, it seems almost. Unless red is able to take it back here. Yeah, now the disadvantage of having to defend your player all the way back to the flag is, of course, that your team has to fall back. Red Although Aftershock's struggling to get the kills now. With it. Yeah, but that for me, out once again, in control of middle, it seems. Although, Mr. Crew with the ninja, in a three kill streak. You pushing up the right side over here. Yeah, blue yeah, finally middle. alone in mid, taking their chance, getting that flag. But yeah, red just respawned all at the same time. Though blue still in control of middle mostly. And they now have a player in the red base. It's two v one. Takes one of them nice. down. Now red is retreating to try and pick this up. Da kills both of the defenders that were in the base. Shy Raider now trying to chase him down. There are two in mid that will be there to close him out if he goes this left side. He does. Shy Raider with the clutch kill from behind. Will they get the return though? Shy sacrificing herself to return the flag and that is the key. There is another chance. There is still a blue in base. I don't think, I don't think he's been detected yet. Yeah, Mr. Koo here. Red, red team is just completely abandoning their base, and he's got the flag. Playing the Although his support, second. his support is very far away. The second he picks that up, he gets turned around on, and now the entire team between him and the escape, they yeah, do yeah. take one down, but Rad Ronnie gets the return. If he had just jumped off the wall there, I feel, and not got killed, he might have been able to make it, because his team was there to support him. Unfortunately, Rad Ronnie also right there to take him down. Blue team now in the red base with three players. 3v3. And they've got the flag. There are two of them here to support it. Mr. Kill on the roof. The gate, Sorry, Red Ronnie on the roof. That and now all five red place. closing on the flag. Uh, they are not letting blue get close. There is a blue still in their base. He's probably just waiting for them to return and get it again. Although they are aware. Oh, he just got both of them. Only one red left to defend. And, and he, he takes him down, the spawn the right there. Response. But he has escaped with the ninja, escaping down mid. There are two oh, players, but both oh, taken down. They lined up way too close there. Rad Ronnie returning the flag yeah. with ninja. That was close. If they hadn't lined up like that, they may have had more of a chance. Jaffa Jaffa trying to continue this push right into their base. The blue just all respawned. One lone red in blue base. Might be able to do it here if he gets the kill. He just does get the kill. Oh, Money shark spawning in the room yeah. though. Takes him down from behind. Red now with somewhat even in mid. Yeah, it looks like after has been warming control. up into this and they're getting much more pushes going than they had before in the game. Better from beyond. Already two captures up, so they will have to do something pretty clutch here. But I'm not counting our shock just out just yet. But that for me on still seems to be winning most uh, 1v1s, which is really key on a map like this. Although overall it does look like uh, our shock are going at least even on the kills. At least very yeah, comparable. I mean, Mining Shark's leading with 29 kills already. 
Jiffa Jaffa now pushing over the hut building in mid. Trying to get into the red base, or maybe just distract the reds because he has taken one down and the remaining ones may have to turn to take him down as well. Or he's going for the flank. He's having to back off to reload, but he does still have a really good position in mid. Although he looks like he's falling back to help defend his base as two reds are approaching it. Shirod had taken down inside the base, and now mid control is mostly to better off and beyond, except for this one player on blue pushing out. Jiffa Jaffa wins the fight against Honest. Jiffa Jaffa lasting forever in this mid area. They have not been able to get rid of him. He might be, yeah, he's taken out there. Flank coming in at just the right time. Shy Raider with two kills. That's the key to positioning there. Going head on head doesn't necessarily win the fights, but going around the side, getting them from behind and the flanks always works. Shy Raider maybe with a bit of lag there, taken down by Mining Shark. Oscar's here with a sneaky left side push. Don't think they know he's here. No. But now TNT, XO are returning the kills, taking control of the tower. Pretty even in the mid right now though. Mr. Koo using that vortex takes down Shy Raider. Now blue, four in middle, taking a fight against one of the remaining reds. The red respawns come in, and Exor in does have support. Frosty, though, frozen in place. Dar takes him down. And now solid control from Aftershock in mid. They may go for a flag cap here, or they could wait for their team to respawn and come back to this controlled area they have. I am Looks seeing like Oscar's might player. be prepping for an entry, though. Yeah, Oscar's here, waiting for his shot to sneak into their base. Not that bad for me. I know he's there. Better off and beyond on the opposite yeah. side of the map, though. He does have a chance to get in and out real fast here. He's got the flag. Now to get out. His team is not there. He's going to have to kill two red. One guy pushing him right now. But they've, they've missed out where he is. They've split up. Now it's Dom versus Oscus. That could have been a huge mistake. He's managed to go all the way down mid. Both of the players went different directions. And now Oscus with the flag, is going to make it all the way to his base wall. This is going to be super close if they yep. want to try and catch him. If they have a sniper he's, he's or some really fast ninja, they land the paintballs, but not quite early enough. Oscus with the Oscus return just... captured. Now 2 v uh, two to 1 to Bed, 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 Bed Bath & Beyond. That's what they need to do. Can they do it again before the time runs out? It's definitely very hard to do all by yourself. Like, he only met up with his team way into his half of the base or of the, of the map. It's just a uh, good skill and uh, not enough defense from Red. Yeah, and it looks like Rad Ronnie calling out his team for some lack of communication there. As we did see one of the players, probably I guess Rad Ronnie, turning to the opposite side to where Oscus was. Excellent. And that allowed Oscus to escape. Like, one blues, two blues two behind them. Well, dead now. XO escaping. There's Oscus. one blue still waiting there, though. Ask us, will we get it? Wins no, we won't. Won. I think this might be another cap. And that would spell the game. Exo are hopping over the wall, going to the flag More cap. Ninja hooks. Looks like it will be the game. Oh. And that is GG, yeah. the first game going to Bed Bath and Beyond. Amazing. That was Aftershock's map, map pick, by the way, so kind of How surprised like that they that? maybe didn't have the strats going there. How'd you like that? <laughs> That was a good game. Welcome back, Rad Ronnie. Hey, so are we, uh, what map are we doing? It is your choice now. Your choice. Alright, we'll do high rise and we'll keep the same side. So. Awesome. So we will be starting high rise momentarily. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, here we go. Loading into high rise. So this is again a tournament favorite. 
In fact, an MC Ball favorite for many years. We're on the Usually same highlights teams. goes pretty quickly though. Based on flag caps, there's a lot of ways to get it out. Yeah, a lot of and teams go for those fast in. ninja plays in through the red window and out again. Well, the same is available for the balcony on the blue side. Ninja definitely a favorite for capping. Looks like red's focusing on the defense for now. Blue for making a play. Blue did manage to sneak by. In their base right now. Asuka's going up those stairs, but he is expected. Yeah, you know he's there. Now that's something that is a problem for a lot of teams in high rise. The base is like Swiss cheese. So many ways in, so many ways out. You either have to defend on the flag or try and control the whole map, including all the tunnels. Looks like the Blues is still fighting inside the red base. Mining Shark on the lower level, trying to shoot up the stairs. He has been spotted out and will be closed down by Honest Forever. Will he be able to find him in this little sneaky hiding spot, though? Honest Forever now leaving the base. Mining Shark with Shotty from behind takes him down. Mining Shark now making a play up the stairs into the main area of the base. He's probably going to be trying to go for the flag here. There is one defender there to stop him. But they're not looking in the right direction. Mining Shark just allowed to walk straight onto the flag. They ninja up behind him, turn around and take the kill. An amazing kill there from Exler. Will he go for the return or just defend the dropped flag? He does go for the return. But there's Mining another blue in the base. Shoddy there. Very interesting choice. The blue flag though now stuck in the blue base. Shy Raider with the pickup. Waiting for his team to get to him. Looks like... Shy now supported by all roads. four of the rest of the, or three of the rest of the team. Now, the Those thing they don't know is Mr. Ku is ready to defend. Mr. Ku not opting to go for the flag, just waiting for Shy Raider to arrive, but he does not realize where she's coming from. Mr. Oh, Ku no. not reacting fast enough. He assumed <laughs> that they'd be coming up the stairs and that he could see them, but no. Going for the slightly sneakier route, Mr. Ku now with a flag, trying to escape. Stuck in a bit of a vortex, though. Oh, that was his vortex. And he had run yeah, he was back. Using it as a protective. Very odd choice of the direction to run there. Now, x is slaughtering everyone in mid, jumping up with Ninja, getting onto the roof. It's a very strong position, but going for the flag instead. Well, he gets the with the multi kill right there. Oh, it falls off the map. The miss Ninja, though. <laughs> or the miss Jump, at the very least. Although, that does mean that the flag cannot be capped for Blue Team for a little while, because the flag is now stuck off the building. Not late, but anyway, but you know. They are here, going for the flag. flag going down the middle. And they have the support. One red Thank player you. between them and capping this. See, see what Honest Forever does here. There is red in the base. He is very stuck. With the flag. Will you be able to turn it though? He's wary. Oh, Mining Shark takes down, sure. but he's not going for the flag pickup. This may return itself. Dom, no. not quite able to return it. It's still there. TNT, oh, barely it. able yeah. to get there. Mining Shark they opting really to kill the flag there. carrier rather than picking up the flag. A very interesting choice. Now everyone back to the start positions. Good read there by Dar to notice the guy going up top. Bedvaf and Beyond look like they've been on the back foot for the past few minutes. They did get the initial early capture. Although that slaughter in middle taking down three, four yeah. of the aftershock players. The fast respawns coming in though. Flag taken. trying to get the flag, but he is surrounded. Dar trying to chase him down. He's gonna be going down tunnels here. Tunnel's a favorite place to go. They do realize he is here, and he is now completely closed in. Mr. Ku taking him down. Not much chance of getting out there. Blocked in from every single direction. Flag taken. Now, Arfshock with the flag. Do get taken down. Jumped straight onto the paintball stream from Exor there. Still trying to contest this. 
Dom taking three, down Jiffa Jaffa. But a clutch from Mr. Koo jumps in. And I don't think x realized that was an opportunity for him. jumped away, thinking he had already returned the flag. We had not. But we have seen some great chases from Bed and Beyond. They may still be able to catch up here. It's looking like it's not a possibility. There's some great defense from Mining Shark and Oscus. And they even God, it out. Firing into the staircase just in case someone shows up there. Remember, Bed Vaff and Beyond are one map up in the series. So Aftershock coming back like this into the second map of the series is great. Flight GH three, begging for a two, shout out in uh, Twitch chat. <laughs> Flight taken. Now we see the flag picked up again by Mining Shark. A little bit of lag there, slowing them down. The Reds are trying to catch up, but the support. Vortex being used. There is one behind them, though, sneaking up through the tunnels. Mining Shark takes him down. Now Mining Shark will be trying to get onto the roof. He is on the opposite side of the blue base, though. There is still a small chance they can maybe snipe this. But it looks like we'll be getting a second capture here. They're now leading this map. This is what they need. But now, Bed Vaff and Beyond pushing in. One taken down, but they still have a player in the blue base. Blue spamming all the corners. Mining Shark takes down x and there's another one coming through tunnels, and I think they yeah, realize. Tunnels, they do. No! He missed times oh, this! Wow. Dom able to get into the flag room, but Dar there, ready to defend. Looks like both teams trying to sneak players in, get the flag out and defend, but at the moment, Aftershock seeing more success with that strategy. Dar, ninjuring up. He is in the flag room. He's going to get the flag, and there's only one red between him and Escape. Oh, the Except for spawn. Wow. That's very unlucky for him. Exo right behind. He did possibly have a chance to get out a little bit quicker than that, though. He waited for a little while in the top, trying to kill that last player in mid. Maybe not trusting that his team would take him down in time. Exo using the so Magneto. The not quite getting what he needs from it, though. And now the blue flag picked up. But blue is all over the map. Surely there's no way he can escape with this. Dom in a close match. Dom wins it. Oscar takes him down, though, and now blue have the advantage. All of their defenders are between the red and their flag. Ninja's trying to come in. An absolute clutch turn there. Exo knows Oscus is here. They're just stopping them picking it up. They're waiting for it to be returned. Taking everyone out. And he escapes for a brief moment there. The whole team. And we got a flag touch here. Oh right, yeah, we did. Somehow that got taken down too, though. But Rat Ronnie probably is able to take this up. Then he might be able to get out. His team is nowhere to be seen because they all died. Yeah, Bed Vaff and Beyond taking advantage of the fact that Aftershock were trying to get Once back to that again. blue flag. Or the red flag, sorry. Once again, they have the flag. Blue is too close, though, and they'll return it. Dar picking up the flag and getting out. The red flag. He's now opting for the tunnels route. It is slightly safer from long range attack, but it is slightly longer as well. So Red Team does have a chance of injuring back. Hit. If he right. did not go for a tunnel, did get it. Yep. And that is victory for Aftershock. Now 1 1, tying up the series. Now that is what we've seen from Aftershock in other series as well. Just a lot of strong pushing, sneaking players in. That is what we needed to see for them to stay in this series. Bed Bath and Beyond rebutted quite strongly there. Looks like Industrial might be our next map up. A map that we saw played really well yesterday. We saw Aftershock taking some amazing plays on it. I think it was the one that they might have lost, though, against Carrot Brotherhood. <laughs> Mining Shark wanting Picnic. The revamped version, of course, but not being allowed it by his team, from the sounds of it.
Oh. What happened to the gel cell? Disappeared. Looks more... Just trying to figure out which map we're we'll going to be playing next. I saw a few pop up. Awesome, looks like we'll be getting into industrial. Here we go, industrial. This is the third map of our best of five between Aftrock and Bed Bath and Beyond. This is just a show match for the end of our tournament. Bit of fun. Aftershock one score. map up. Uh Bed Bath and Beyond also one map up. So we will see who can take the lead in this series. Now loaded in on the red side we still had have bed vaf and beyond on the blue side we have aftershock now previously we've seen the strat that seemed to work is get a player in the flag building defend in there for a while while your team pushes up take the one on ones and then leg it we'll see if that works out again dar trying to survive in the base but does get taken down but now aftershock pushing up with many of their players Better off and beyond stuck pretty close into their base. Aftershock players taken down left and right, but they still have a player right next to the base, and Bedraff and Beyond haven't been able to push out yet. Now that their base is clear, Bedraff and Beyond may be able to get a push going here. Looks like they have three players all pushing one side, one of them moving up to take the high ground. Yeah, one in the tunnel, one in the high ground, and one in the just the main level. And they seem to have all made it. Flag taken. And Shy Raider is up to the flag. But she is surrounded. Just her, yeah. Taken yeah. down by three blues. And now blue has control of the map again. Mining Shark holding a position close up to the enemy team. He does get taken down by Rad Ronnie with a clutch ninja there. Now it looks like Red's pushing the left side of the, the map. But they've run over each other! One team in the bottom side, one on the top side. It looks like blue has the advantage here with three players in the red base. Only red two players in the blue ignoring base. Them. They've switched they sides! The flag. Yeah. What? Red when just blue's still here to defend. The, the grass always greener on the other side of the map. Both teams choosing to try and get the flag and both control it. But red now taken down. Only one red remaining by the blue flag. It'd be a 1v3 right here. Yeah. It does get taken down. This may be it. the first capture of shock. Spawned all the way on the other side of the map. Opposite corner. There's no way they're able to get, get this. Nope. A very risky choice of strategy there. Of course, if you can keep your flag in your base, it's a lot safer than trying to take the enemy flag and escape. Both teams opt to take the enemy flag. Our shock just comes out on top. Jiffa Jaffa with some strong defense. But red with a strong attack, just two players, but one is returning. Honest yeah. Trevor. They absolutely slaughtered the blue team on the attack here. Will blue be able to defend or will they get taken down a second time? Red, first attack has been stopped. Now a second attack is happening on the right side here. Yeah, the second wave of players rocking into the base. 2v1 inside Not the flag able to building. Take out the defender. Oscar's here, it's strong defense. Although Red Ronnie is flanked from behind. Yeah, Mining Shark spotting him out there. Oscar's knowing he's there anyway. Blue team just defended their base very well. Blue team seem to be getting the best of the fights this map. In the previous maps, we've seen them struggling a little bit with Bed Raff and Beyond able to take most of the fights for themselves. Looks like a bit of a swing of momentum here for Aftershock. Blue team definitely doing very well. Dar here is getting kill after kill, getting into red base. Only one red defender left. Red right now. Mining shark with an absolute clutch turnaround there. 
A player waiting for him, but not able to connect the shots. Mining Shark now in the flag room. Will he be able to keep the red team off of his back, though? He takes down Rad Ronnie, and now he's running for it. Hask is just barely able to take out Shy Raider here defending. So now he's the only one left, and our red just respawns, so... Exo winning the fight there, taking both of the enemy players out. Very important to win that, otherwise the flag would be gone. Red team preparing for an attack here. One of them is just waiting here. Dom just, yeah, just waiting for something to happen so he can rush in. Now the rest of his team has pretty much died on the on the attack and now he's going in. Dying as well. Now blue team all spawning in. Looks like they're going to cover the whole map. With all of their Red players. Team just focus on mid right. Not getting much done. Mostly just dying, 1v1s. One red has able has been able to make it through. And blue is now attacking a full red See base. If red player can make something happen. About yeah. to respawn soon. Shy Raider just in a fully respawn blue base. Yep. Flag. If his team can back him up. It's the flag. Shy, she takes down Mining up. Shark. Will she take down the second player? This is the clutch fight she needs to take to win, but Dar. Mm -hmm. Taking advantage of the position there. there. Balcony is a stock the position. Flag. The other flag also picked up. Also, quite some support to get it back. Makes it into the tunnel. Looks like they're going to run right into each other as they keep going as they are. Exo are taken down from behind by Jiffa Jaffa. They are going to try and support their player. Do they realize she's in the, the waiting here for his team to support him? And his team is now there. Shy Raider and Honest jumping the over the top. Behind. Jumping up, losing the flag, sadly. Yeah. They didn't win the fight. Who needed some players on the right-hand side to give it up? They all went for tunnel. Yeah, the Blues predicting that the Reds would chase straight down the tunnel, but they did not. They went over the top, and that was the downfall. Managing to sneak around behind. Now Blue, right now walking blues. straight past the entire team. All of Red focused one side of the map there, and they did not win the fights that they required. Flag. They got the flag. Red about to respawn. They respawn all on their left side, though. All left side and that's respawn. also where their flag went. Red but he's able to take all reds out. But now Mining Shark, a very good player in the series so far. Taken down, though. Excellent. Taking the high ground with the ninja. The flag Another picked up flag. again, though. Oscus this really time, going out the other side of the map. Only two reds there to stop him if they know where he is. One of the reds seems to be going for red, blue base. Oscar wins the first fight. He's going for the tunnels. Will he manage to make it all the way, though? There is a red player in the tunnel on the other end of it. I don't think they realize, though. They they're continuing to push. It. And they're taken down. They had just turned around the tunnel. Red relying on the ninja to catch up here. Oscar spots the snowballs flying in. He's going Taking to try and cap route. this. I think, he I think he's got it. Yep. Yeah, honestly, no forever just driving anywhere. a second or two too late. Blue team controlled mid, which was eventually a smart move because that's where Red tried to push back from. Yeah, ma mid flag. control on this map is a really big deal because it gives you a lot was, of time and a lot of options. There was a bit of a miscommunication that flag. The, the guy tunnels didn't turn around at all. Yep. Dom now inside the blue base. Opting to leave though. Looks like he's going to take the stairs up. Takes down Exwar. He's now going to try and get this flag, but does he know there's a player here? He does not. Oscus takes him down. Solid defense. Flag taken. And now, once, once again, again Dar oh, picking up the red flag. Will Red be able to close him down though? They should be oh, able to, unless corner. they get killed from behind. Right, he's going to the tunnel. A lot more cover from mid. His team mid now is, ready to support him. Is secured. Yeah. So there won't be anyone here in one person. Red is on attacking on the right. Or left, yeah. Red yeah, trying to go from the high ground there. Now, out. Aftershock 3 0 on this map. That is showing some good momentum. Aftershock obviously had some practice on this map, and they were very good at it.
Yeah, Aftershock now 2-0 up. Sorry, 2-1 up. Bed Bath & Beyond need to win this map. Otherwise, it will be over in this series. We are going to have a special guest commentator for this as well, if he's around. He's not around. Too bad. Who would that have been? That would have been GHJJ, GH if he actually joins huh. the Discord. Cargon noticed me. <laughs> So what do you guys think we're going to see in this? What's the next map? Coder? Coder? Might be Coder. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Coder. Uh, let's just check I hope you see some spicy jump off the map ninja up plays. Or well, ninjaing all the way under the map I've seen before. Absolute insanity. Wow. It's very hard That's to do now with only two, uh, two hook shots. Maybe four. I think you need at least five. Or is... Yeah. Very, very hard. Okay, we are going to be hopping right, into Coda. Here we go. This is our fourth map of the series. Aftershock leading 2-1 up against Bed Bath & Beyond. Aftershock still blue side, Bed Bath & Beyond still red side. Coda, a very solid favorite from tournaments. A lot of players have spent a lot of time thinking about strategy on this. So I'm very interested to see what they can come up with. Typically, Who we see mid control, tower control. Red pushing up the middle here. No one knows. Could get a really good flank here on the left. One red is already a little base. Spotted. But he's been spotted. Yeah, goes down. Now blue seem to have control of all the key points of the map. The high ground, the tower, but they do lose one of them. And now they're both trapped on this tower. Dar takes down Radroni. A very important kill there. If he had not won that fight, that could have been red taking control of mid. Lots of paintballs flying around. Blue is pushing back though. Falling back a little. But they've Seems missed one. Shy Raider sneaking in once again. Shy Raider consistently been sneaking into the side. Everybody knows he's there. He gets taken down. Yeah, the important thing about sneaking in is you've got to be able to get out as well. And without any control, it's not really an option. Okay, GH now will be joining us. <laughs> GH, welcome! Hello. Welcome. Is there a way for me to join the... What's your name? 34, yeah. Yeah, you should be able to join now. Uh... Is he spectate permissions? Yeah, GH, ignore when you join and then um, go to slash spectate. What's the command to join the tournament? Service there? tournament. Now we do see Aftershock still covering mid. Shy Raider once again snuck all the way around though. At the very least, she's been a great distraction this entire time. Under a lot of fire. Somehow managing to make GH2 it. GH2 slash ignore. Red team uh, is I'm there to man. support. Yeah. Shy Raider actually managed to go all the way down the bridge side of the map. Jiffa Jaffa not quite realized how far she's gotten and she has made it into the tower. This is a very good opportunity for her. But blue team still has the main control of the map. Shyro is trying to escape. They don't realize she's used this little side exit. And now her team is there to support. This sneak play absolutely paying off. Two blue players here. Trying to chase it down, but one taken down. Shy Raider with the first cap of this series. Of this uh, map run. Do such spec. Crash GH. Oh, wait. You no, it, it... Oh, we need the um, uh, texture pack. Make sure you have it set correctly. Uh, now once again the uh, yeah, red flag picked up this time by tnt she's going to opt for the middle tunnel route there is now an updated version where there is the bridge she could tr uh, he could try and take but he one does not there's no blue here to stop them there's only one in the flag room and they absolutely know he's here dar takes down dom Will he be able to take down the flag carrier? No, Honest Forever. Yeah, going in first, x and now coming for the cap. This will even up the series. Oh! Wow, my The snipe! Body block! There. That would have been so close to taking the flag carrier down. Instead, takes down the bodyguard. That would have been absolutely clutch. I think either way, they still capped it, though, because they had two players. Yeah. So. 
I was nowhere near it. They couldn't have returned it. Well, you never know. There were two snipers out in the there. Or not exactly sneaking into the base, just jumping in with Ninja. Managing to take out the defender. Flag taken. I'm just taking up the flag. Here. Now his team needs to support him. Which they, they're getting sniped and they got hit. Yeah, Oscar's not able to escape with that. Gets hit by a paintball coming from mid. They're not opting to return it right now. Not really much of an impetus to because the blues are all in their side. But now we see Shy Raider once again going for the sneak. Uh, I lie, is Mining Shark going for the sneak? And he gets taken down. That was a very oh, well played snipe. He jumped once and got sniped instantly. One red on the bridges side of the map, trying to distract the blues. Taken down. Now blue, mostly in their base. Possibly trying to get some control before they go for another push. Although both teams have succeeded by being a bit sneaky. Mining Shark spotted out by Exwoa. Exwoa now trying to get the flank. Does take down Dar. Now 1v1 against Oscus. Oscus taken down. Exo going absolutely ham here. Ninjaing up to the top of the tree, going all the way into the flag room, but does not quite make it in the door. Mr. Koo taking him down. Jiffa Jaffa just holding mid for a blue team here all by himself. And now the rest of the blue team has come up for support. Giving them a big advantage. Jiffa Jaffa still holding the right side of the map. Now all of blue team is ready to attack, full force, flag. they got the flag, there's a lot of support for them right now. One red, all of them, good support. Great support, Jiffa Jaffa is still holding mid here, or no it's Mr. Ku now. Red is all on left side. trying to get out, looks like there One will be no the reds side. ready to take him down, this will be their first cap if they can make a home. There is one Oscar's... red waiting in their base and two following up. He cannot wait and he cannot push. The red taken Oscar's down. Being chased, but his team is all here. Be very unlikely he gets Will we hit see here. The snipe? If he does, no snipe. It's now two one. Bedrock and Beyond still leading. Remember, Bedrock and Beyond have to win this map to continue the series. Chich, you managing to load in? Yeah, I'm trying to. I opened the text box and then typed ignore, and now Minecraft's not responding, but the texture pack loaded in. Red team has a an extra player right now. Yep, that's GH. Let me know if I get killed, because, you know, oh, you gotta keep that rating now, up. I think. Yeah, move the other way. Off the map. Yeah. I see red team trying to get back into this. It seems mostly even now. Nobody's really controlling mid, although blue is now moving in relatively easily. No uh, contest. Yeah, both teams now taking a bit of a pause, not necessarily trying to push quite as hard, just getting the control. Both teams, though, taking different areas of the map. Blue has the uh, hillside. Red has all of the rest of mid. Dar taken down. That's the full push gone for blue. Now it's mostly red trying to get another push going on. We see He's Rad running red, already red through running. the bridges side. He's sneaking into their base oh. now. Red An has absolute been very good final paintball taken down Mr. Ku at very long range there. He's going for the flag. Now will his team be able to support him? And will he, he choose the He takes the right side, side here and not the left side. Absolutely not the left side. No. Okay. Well, he, he didn't have much of a choice there. Players going in all behind. Yep. Uh, now do slash spectate GH. Yeah, it's it's uh it's working on it. Cool. <laughs> Blues now have control of all of middle. Taken down by an absolute brilliant snipe from Honest Forever. Sniper, a really good. Uh, kit on this uh, map to be able to break the control of the enemy team. Red team once again pushing Bridges side. It's Exwo this time. Now he did manage to get a cap before. We'll see if he can do it again. 
Blue has spotted him out, ninjuring up onto the base. He now has control of the flag room. But this is a very tough spot to be in when the team's closing you in. Flag taken. Carrier kill. Mm, yeah, closed in. Taken down by several players there. Honest Forever still sniping from this tree. Sorry, not Honest Forever. Uh, Dom, actually, this time. Trying to play a bit more defensive. Maybe they've decided to go slightly more defensive because they have the lead. We sometimes see this work out. It does give them a chance to kind of catch their breath. But if you take the your foot off the gas, it can cause problems because they can push up a bit harder. Lightning Shark actually takes down Dom in the tree. An amazing snipe. Really quick. Shyrada yeah, wants to get on the flag. She's going to be going straight down the middle. This is a really good position, but just before she can get into the tunnel, she gets taken down by some brilliant spray. Jiffa Jaffa able to get that from their spawn. Shyrada has been absolutely brilliant at getting on the flag. Just need more people coming to get them out. Red team's doing a push on the right side of their base. Looks like Red is actually focusing on the snipers at the moment. Two of them in mid, trying to cover that whole map from one position. Money Money Shot's got a good push. Money Shot's been absolutely brilliant this whole series, getting the kills. Taken down from behind by Rad Ronnie. Now the spawn's coming in for Red Team. Mr. Koo using the Vortex to try and get some ground, but Rad Ronnie waiting for it to go down, takes him down. Unless you're going fast, it's really hard to keep up with the Vortex, so you kind of get left behind. Shy Raider with the blue flag once again. A little Going bit stuck down. though. Yeah. That was good though. Who was pushing in to sneak past them? A little hard with who having control of the map, but good idea nonetheless. Dar has also switched to their sniper here. Yeah, now Red seem to have some control of mid with one player fighting against the person in the tower, but Blues have covered their base. They maybe only realize one of them is here, and that one is causing a massive distraction. Mr. Koo now sneaking onto the flag. He doesn't have much of a way out, though, unless he can get some clutch kills. He's just waiting? Oh, he's waiting for his team to arrive before blowing himself. Cover is blown. He's running for it. That's the problem, though. Dom was ready to take him down before he left. Blowing your cover like that? Yeah, you might be able to escape, but maybe just wait for your team to get into a slightly better position. Yeah, I think if you waited there, that would have been really, really good for the blue team. Mine shark pushing up middle, using that ninja to quickly get into the base. Flag taken. Kill. Yeah, both teams now struggling to make anything happen with their sneaky pushes. They're both getting players onto the flag, but not being able to escape. Carrier. Now both flags return to their base. Nobody really made, able to make anything of this. Jiffa Jaffa expelled from the red base. Or was it one of the two? You know what I want to see? I want to see some crazy ninja plays. I have seen people jump down the bottom of this, ninja all the way under the map, and back up the other side. I want to see something like that. That would be fun. Get some like, pro ninja going on. Well, Rad Roddy's got a five kill streak ninja. He's in the middle field right now looking to make a push looks like no one knows that they're there they certainly know now yeah, blue has red really good has... control but of the wrong part of the map red has representation here one person supports in the middle getting to where blue. sky is they're running I don't back think blue realize i don't think blue realize blue were middle. running back rather than forward oscar is trying Oscar's to get the, the kill it's gonna be the game. 
And that is Bed Bath & Beyond taking the map that they needed to take. It is now tied up. This will be the last of the series. Remember, this is a best of five show match between Aftershock and Bed Bath & Beyond. Two great teams from our 10th tournament. Aftershock, of course, taking the win for that tournament. Looks like it might be going to Township. That was straight determination from Shire to come there. Press the flag maybe five, six, seven times. Just keep going at it. It's great. Total of eight flag returns on that match, so you can really see how much the flag was being moved back and forth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take a quick comfort break. Zorgan, I just wanna say how great it is to be able to fly in the lobby. It's so nice. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Is there going to be a, a cosmetic giveaway or something like that? Uh, not on this stream. We will. We are planning to have a couple uh, community nights uh, coming up in the next few months. Mm. The goal being, I think the target is one or two a month, something like that. Nice. We'll probably have some then. So yeah, we are four maps into this best of five show match. Bed Bath & Beyond vs. Aftershock, both with two maps. What do you think about the likelihood of Cracked? You know, who do you think has better <laughs> map knowledge and map skills on that one? Ooh, I mean, we've seen both teams do really well on this map, and both teams have been putting up the numbers this series. Initially, we saw Bed Bath & Beyond getting more kills. Uh, later on, we saw Aftershock kind of catching up, picking up the kills and getting the caps. Coda though went the other way, so I think Cracked is a map that comes more down to the one-on-one -on -one reflex kills because it's a lot of kind of going through tunnels and covering things off mm. and kind of who's better at ninja. I think maybe just because Oscus is on the team, he's an incredible ninja player. Although we're against uh, Exo at TNT, another incredible ninja player. I think, if anything, this is possibly the most even map we could see between the two. It doesn't allow yeah, them to good. go for the kind of crazy big map strats. It requires them to be splitting up, going for the kills. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, kit choice and kit control is going to be a big component here, depending on how well the teams can work together on, you know, putting certain people in certain places in order to make the captures work. Yeah, and I think this could be a really great map. Just checking that all the players are back and ready. Is there going to be a perms? I have all the perms. Alright, <laughs> we'll have to update the tournament, room, the tournament room down here. That is not something Please. we do on the server. That comes a lot later. Because that's has to go through a series of things. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Cracked. Jungle of Concrete. This is the decider match between Aftershock and Bed Bath & Beyond in our Tournament 10 Show Match Final. Right off the gate, we see Blue just launching into action there with the Ninja. Uh, already got a few kills. Both teams throwing themselves at each other, eliminating themselves almost immediately. It looks like Blue came out on top, although the red flag, or well, the red player, did manage to pick up the blue flag. Kill. Gets one kill he needed, but killed from behind by Mr. Koo, managing to chase out from behind. Now I see it settled down a little bit after that crazy start. Yeah, we do see the benefits of the respawning system here, where you know a lot of red players got taken out, and then they are all able to spawn in together and kick Oxus out of their base. Yeah, and it's really a stabilizing factor. You know, the more successful you are, the less you actually can uh, get into the base, which means maps tend to go slightly longer. And it's less of a, oh, we got a lucky person in there, let's get out. Although, right now, we've seen both teams back and forth with the sneaky players getting into the bases and getting the flags. It looks like Honest Forever is kind of uh, hanging back at red base, using his frosty kit, kind of calling out player positions, looking for uh, individual pushes, kind of as the safety of the red team. Yeah, now Blue with a player trying to get in. They've managed to sneak past the main defender there. Looks like they will be able to get into the base unless they try and go for some kills instead. Maybe spotted out by Honest Trevor. Honest Trevor looks like he spotted him and he is repositioning to take him down. Dar, I think, has had his cover blown. Honest Trevor spotting him through a gap because Dar pushed back a bit too far. But they've forgotten he's there. They don't realize he's still there. <laughs> Dar's going to get the flag, but he is still behind enemy lines. Honest Trevor going the wrong side. Oh. Does freeze Dar. That frosty coming in clutch around the corner there. Just in range to freeze. Really good frosty shot there. Now, based on these first two minutes, do you think either team really has an advantage yet, or do you think they're both trying to find their feet? No, I would say, you know, no team is having a strict advantage, but I think Red's doing a great job, like I said, with kind of placing people where they need to be. He had a great plan. Uh, even if people are touching the flag, you know, you have Honest Forever back there with his Frosty Ray to stop them so they can't get any further. Whereas Blue seems to just be kind of a spawn and run kind of tactic. They might group, a, a group up in, of one or two people, but then, uh, you know, they can get broken up pretty easily. Mm, looks like Red's still sticking with two defenders in their base. Shy Raider going down uh, left side. Shy Raider has Blue. been really good at sneaking in and getting these flags, but she's not been able to get out because the team isn't there to support. The team is now here, but will they be able to get the flag before Oscus returns it? Oscus does now return it. Shy Raider repeatedly getting on that flag. If her team's there to support, she has been shown to be able to get out with it as well. But obviously solo against three people chasing you, that's a tough call for anyone. Now red with two players this time pushing into this right side of the map. Shy Raid is one of them, backed up by Radwani. Shy Raid taken down by Mining Shark. Radwani takes down Mr. Koo, so he is still in that base. But the two blue players, both firing at the same time, paintballs converging, gets the kill. Radwani taken down, sent back home. Red also seems to be opting for a fairly defensive strategy for their players. Sometimes you see players trying to take all of mid and kind of leaving their base itself alone, just relying on the mid defense. But as you've seen in a lot of matches, that doesn't always work for Cracked because you can sneak past. So you need these players in the base ready to defend. That Frosty just misses! Mining Shark was right on the corner of that, just managed to escape before it went off. Now Blue Team able to defend basically across the whole map here. But Shire Raider, again, with the clutch pickup, and that gives the team time to get in behind. It's going to come down to this fight. Oh, the t the spawns there, absolutely brutal. Blue team able to spawn in and absolutely shut her down. First cap coming in for Aftershock. They now lead this series. If Shire didn't touch the flag there, I highly doubt they would have known that she was there. 
Although with the spawns as they were, she'd have had to win like a four on one to get the flag return anyway. Blue playing really but, well with the positioning of their defensive players on the flag carrier. Yeah, it would have definitely been a close one, especially since mining was in the front. Maybe you would have made needed or something, who knows? Yeah, I mean, it could have been a 50 50. If Shy had managed to evade Fly, the spawns three, and three. get out, that would have been a great position for the flag. But Blue, I think, just played that one really, really well for this map. They had players yep. on the flag carrier, they had players in the base prepared. Almost making it out again, but Honest Forever coming with four clutch kills there. Honest Forever really been performing well this series. In some very clutch moments with some snipes, with some uh, four kills like that one. Those were actually his first four kills this uh, map, but you know, got to get the important ones. <coughs> Don't worry about the rest. Oscar's fresh deep there, to managed to escape. Into the tunnels. Let's see what he can do. Mining Shark using the Magneto. Gets the turnaround and the reload. But Shy Raider gets the kill as he crosses the doorway that in the building she was in. Dar, Mining Shark, both trying to get in here. A little bit of lag there on my end, sorry for that. Dar now taken down, trying to be sneaky, doesn't manage it. Jiffa Jaffa following up, trying to take this 1v2 now. Honest Forever has spotted it. Xor taking the wrong corner, but does manage to turn around in time. Now Oscus knows where he is. And the blue team is converging. Xor now in a 3v1. The Ninja takes one player down. Dar ninjaing over. Will he be able to take down the second? No XOR inside the building now, taken down by two players. That was almost four kills. Only manages two, but that's going to slow Blue down a lot. Hopefully, they can make something out for that. But... Dar takes down Shy Raider. Two Blues pushing in their right side of the base. And it's just honest forever on the defense. We're pushing on the right side over here. Mining Shark takes him down. He was waiting for Dar. Mining Shark used the Magneto, yeah, but now uh, both teams have the flag. Dom versus Mining Shark. Neither team has great right support side. here. Red team coming together around their flag bearer. There's only one person left who could stop them. And it looks like they Except haven't he's managed gonna get it. Jiffy Jaffa is going to be a close one. Oh, he misses the jump. And that's that Bedrock Beyond camp. tying it up. Uh, almost halfway through the match. One cap each. This is the final map of the series. Honest Trevor going for the long range Frosties there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Dar particularly cares. He'd probably rather take that further back than in the base, for example. <laughs> Lots of tunnels right now where Dar can just be under here and no one knows. They don't know is that Honest Forever may be prepared for this. Oh, the Frosty just misses Dar. Dar has opportunity. Ninja's up. Taken down in midair by Rad Ronnie, though. Sorry, by Honest Forever, though. You saw that little bit of use of F5 from Dar. Try to make his escape, wasn't it? Yeah, able to both take. players trying to use it, but just not able to capitalize on it. Both teams seem content to keep trying to push, not necessarily all together, but with one or two players. Honest Forever versus Dar seems to be the fight of the century. Comes up every single time. x here Rad to help. Ryan. Taken down by Dar. Dar now in the base. 2v1. Raider, go for the flag again. Wins his duel. Nope. Goes down. Yeah, and Dar was taken down from behind by Dom as well. Dom falling back from the mid position, sacrificing his further up position, but does take down the player pushing into his base. Both teams regrouping, getting ready for another push. Mr. Koo with two clutch kills there. Not able to get the third. Shy Raider killing him out from behind. Shy Raider now going for another push. Straight Dar. down mid this time, getting chased by two blues. <laughs> Dar in the tunnels here, left side, waiting for an opportunity to go through. Kind of playing bait there. Shy Raider makes them expose their flanks to Rad Ronnie. Rad takes one down. Dar. 
pushing in now almost. Oh, why does Trevor miss him? Oscar's taking Oscar a pulse to reload though. before he pushes in further. Blues seem to have overall control of the map right now, getting ready to make a push. Although Red also pushing out of the base. Honest Forever should be ready here to stop Oscar's though. Oscar staying sneaky, getting the F5. He reveals himself to take down TNT though. Does get the kill, that would have been bad if he didn't. Honest Forever missing the Frosty. Taken down oh. by Oscar. One more player here to defend, the respawns come in. Second blue player, Mr. Ku, using the Vortex as a shield, gets out, but there are reds ready to flank. Mining Shark covering him. Mr. Ku, not cover Mining Shark anymore. There's only one blue ready to cover him, but he is out of the base. He is well clear of that, and now blue have a really good opportunity to cover him going forward. Red side, on the right side, though, might just get a last. Exor, a clutch player with a chance to stop this. Absolutely converged on by four of the five blues. No way he could get that. That's Aftershock taking the lead. 2-1 up now. Shirader once again getting the flag pickup. And actually the team is there. She can maybe escape with this if the team can cover properly. She's she going straight towards the blues though. Mining Shark with Magneto. Oh my she tries gosh. to ninja away but Mining Shark just slowing everything down there with Magneto. Not much you can do when somebody appears in front of you, completely invincible. Yeah, unfortunately she just shows the wrong side on that escape. Yeah, the, her two buddies not quite able to catch up in time. Now blue with the map advantage again. Looks like they're going to push in with two players together and two maintaining mid control. It's going to be tight yeah, on Honest Forever. Honest Forever takes one down. TNT. All alone, but no blues around either. They're gonna flag bears are gonna pass right by each other. Rad Ronnie gets the shutdown though, but the blues have managed to catch up in that time. Mining shark now TNT's ahead of the flag. On the right hand side here, no blue around. All blues taken down. Only seven minutes remaining. We're now a third of the or two thirds of the way through. Two two. The next capture is the win. <laughs> I don't think we've seen a closer Crazy. crack game than this. Back and forth, back and forth. Both teams winning with similar strategies when they get the caps. We'll see if they can maybe, which team can adapt first, or if they'll just keep trying and see who gets the kills. Two blues in base, one's on the flag. Mine has got that ninja. Oh, it's Magneto, never mind. Magneto runs out just at the wrong time when he crosses the door. Uh oh. Uh oh, only one red left. Dawn's making a oh. run for it! They can't get the kill! Oh, and all the blues respond. They need to catch up. This could be the game and the series. Comes down to a fight between Dar and the red team. Dar took a second to go back towards mid to avoid a player. And, and he there. makes it. That is Aftershock, winning our show match for Tournament 10. GG. Really good games there. So that does spell the end of our tournament. Just to go over it again, we had Aftershock in first place, Carrot Brotherhood in second, and Rainbow Bunchies in third. That map was that was our show match for the end there. Thank you everyone for playing. Thank you everyone for being good sports. Thank you to our commentators uh, today and from the other days. Thanks Oscar and Jaja for heading up the organization of this. And thanks of course to all of our viewers and players. Some really great games we yeah. had there. I wasn't really there for that last match, but looked pretty good. Yeah, Aftershock showing uh, why they're the tournament winners there. Yeah. Super close, so closing it out. Was already the winner, and that was just a, a, a show match, basically. For those who didn't know, or did you just say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you did. Yeah, we covered yeah. all that stuff. We're all right. Ready. Well, good stream. Good stream. Good stream. I'm gonna be heading off, guys. See ya. That was cool. intense. Yeah, absolutely great games all through today, all through yesterday, throughout this tournament.
So for was... those wondering, the plan at the moment is we're gonna have another tournament coming up in winter time. We have some community nights, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, we'll be announcing those when they come up. Until we see you on those, thank you all for watching and playing. We will see you next time. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye.